Ah, ah, ah. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you wish to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. If there should be some folks about who scoff and laugh and seem to doubt this story of Jonathan Thomas, of how he went upstairs one night and went to sleep with his eyes closed tight until a light from the moon came into his room and two little people named Ezra and Jeepel slid down and started to frown at Guz. That's his teddy bear. Why don't you care if they laugh and sneer? Because it happened, and that's a promise. It happened as true as things happen to you. And this truly happened to Jonathan Thomas. Guz growled at those elves till they were beside themselves and chased them up to the moon. And Jonathan Thomas, he chased after Guz, and he shouted to Guz to come back because he was afraid he might get lost. And pretty soon he reached the moon. He knew because it was covered with frost. But Jonathan Thomas didn't mind the cold, for he was six and very brave and bold. But he did get scared at a man with a beard, with the funniest face he'd seen any place. And he wished he could find Guz pretty soon, but he couldn't. So he asked the man in the moon. But then in a hurry, with a terrible flurry, there was the awfulest noise, which would scare most boys, but didn't scare him, because he got as mad as he ever had when the squee bubbles kidnapped Santa Claus. Then, what do you think? As quick as a wink, some policemen came and put the blame on Jonathan Thomas, and he went to a court of the very worst sort, it was the court of old King Cole, who said, Aha, uh-huh, now you must go, for you have broken the laws. You're a wicked spy, and you'll have to die unless you bring back Santa Claus. So Jonathan Thomas, he gave his promise, and he left the court in a terrible gloom, for he didn't know where he ought to go. And then he met the man in the moon, who said that, of course, he'd get his horse, that is, if he didn't mind, for it isn't much fun when there's only one who's got Santa Claus to find. So Jonathan Thomas, he said, Why, yes, and what happened next you won't have to guess. For quicker than you can count up to ten, here's where the story begins again. <laughs> Squim dum dee, squim dum do, there are some things that I must know. Be it happy or be it sad, be it good or be it bad. So speak, O oh magic mirror, great and wise. Ask me no questions. And I'll tell you no lies. Alas, you wicked-looking glass. Unless your sass very quickly ceases, I'll break you into a million pieces. So speak the truth, and tell to me what strangers doth appear to thee. Oh, evil witch of Rumpelstitch, this is what I see. Beyond the road where lives the toad, there is not one, but one, two, three. Uh-huh. Forsooth, you speak the truth, O oh magic mirror great, and I would know as to where they go. So tell it to me straight. They approach the river, and much I quiver to see them shiver so. For the icy stream doth plan and scheme to hold them in its course. The man in the moon and Jonathan Thomas and Gorgonzola, the horse. Aha! Uh-huh. They've come to rescue Santa Claus, but I shan't let them, because I'll call down my wrath and then laugh to see them suffer so. <laughs> they'll be so afraid, they'll wish they'd stayed and never set out to go. <laughs> Squeam dum dee, squeam dum do, and never set out to go. <laughs> We're off to the land of Squibble. We're 
abandoned, we'll walk and we'll hop on. We'll never come back till we've taken the whack at the terrible land of Swivamore. Yeah, yeah. My gracious and Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. What a beautiful song that is. I think it's the best song I ever heard. Oh, it's stupendous. It's colossal. It's gigantic mammoth. And it nearly drives me frantic. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. ha cha 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 How much farther do we have to go, Mr. Man in the Moon, if you please, sir? Oh, just about as far as from here to there. But if you please, sir, how long is that? About as long as a piece of string without any knots in it. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> ah, and we must be careful now. Because we're in the canyon of the three dwarves. Oh, it's moida. That's what it is. Nothing but plain moida. Oh, oh, look, Mr. Man in the Moon. There's there's somebody standing over there. Oh, my gracious to goodness to Agnes Reed. It's the three dwarves, I think. Ask them who they are, Jonathan Thomas. Yes, sir. Uh, who, who are you, if you please? I'm Sneasel. I'm Weasel. I'm Beelzebub. Who are you? I am the man in the moon. And I'm Jonathan Thomas. And I'm Gorgon Soda the horse. And we're going to the land of the sweet bubble to rescue Santa Claus. He's been kidnapped. Yes, and we'd be ever so grateful if you'd let us go through your canyon. You'll have to pay. To go this way. And if you don't, you'll have to stay. Well, of course we'll pay. How much do you want? Each will have to pay a song. And if the song is much too long. Or if you've learned it wrong. You can't go through. Not one of you. That's what you have to do. Oh, but I don't know any songs. Well, not very good ones. Then you'd better make one up. We're down. Or we'll never get through the canyon. You'd better hurry. Oh, don't you worry. We'll leave in a scurry. And never let you. Or you. Or you. Go through our canyon. Well, very well, then. I'll sing mine first, yep. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm the man in the moon who's singing this dreadful tune. It's up to you when I get through, which I hope will be very soon. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Now it's your turn, Jonathan Thomas. Oh, but I only know one song. Then sing it and ring it and swing it. Uh, yes, sir, if you please. Uh, we let a fork and a knife and a spoon set out for adventure one day. The fork and the spoon to the wee little mouth of a wee little boy found their way. But the wee little knife by the side of the plate Thought he had wasted his life. For somebody's mother had firmly announced that a boy mustn't eat with his knife. But the wee little boy smiled down and said, I'll use you to butter my bread. And you can't do that with a fork or a spoon. God bless you. The little knife said. <laughs> oh, it's stupendous. It's colossal. It's gigantic. That's a wonderful song. But a trifle too long. But there wasn't a word that was wrong. You pleased us so that you may go. We cannot tell you no. And we'll give to you this magic shoe. So the evil witch can't trouble you. And this magic hat. Which goes with that, will make them wonder where you're at. Whenever you say scat. Oh, thank you very much. But you shouldn't say wonder where you're at. You should say wonder where I am. I'm doesn't rhyme with hat. And that's that, you bat. Hey, my gracious to goodness, run for your lives. There comes the witch. Oh, oh, Mr. Man in the Oh, it's room. terrifying. That's what it is. Nothing but terrifying. Oh, yeah, oh, come on, quick, that's... Jonathan Thomas. Oh. Put on your hat and say scat, or the witch will have you, and that will be that. Oh, come oh, on, hurry. Oh, 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 do you suppose Jonathan Thomas said scat quickly enough? Or do you suppose the evil witch got him? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Oh, but I hope not. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 